Hey everyone, in this video we will learn how to add a conditional column in Power Query. So that's like adding an additional column to your uh, base table based on certain conditions. So we'll just learn how to do that. I've got Power uh, BI Desktop open here with me and I'll click on Transform Data and then I'll again click on the Transform Data tab. And what it does is that it opens the Power Query Editor for me. And so for the purpose of this demo, we'll go to the Tim product table and we'll uh, build something of the standard cost. So it has this field called standard cost. So we'll create another column based on value in the standard cost. So essentially what we are saying is if the standard cost is maybe below 500, we'll say it's cheap. If it is between 500 and 1500, we'll say it's uh, not, it's medium uh, or it's okay. And then if it is over 1500, we'll say it's expensive. And then we can also set a criteria for if it doesn't fall into any of the brackets. So let's start. So we'll go to add column. So I've got, I was on the home tab of the Power Query Editor and then I go on to the add column tab and I click on additional uh, conditional column and it opens the editor for me. So I'll just say standard cost grouping for now. And I'll say if standard cost so if standard cost is less than, um, say, so let's say it's less than 500. We'll just call it not too expensive. And then we'll add another clause. So we'll say if standard cost is less than, um, maybe let's just say 1200, we'll say But if it is, and then we'll just add another clause where we'll just say if the standard cost is greater than or equal to 1200, then we'll say it's expensive. And if it doesn't fall into any of these categories, there's a chance it might be null or blank. So we'll just say um, not applicable. And I'll click OK. And you can see on the right hand side in the applied steps, it's added a conditional column and it's got, so let me just filter on expensive and see what the standard cost is like here. So let's just say, okay. And I'm assuming everything over 1200 would show up. So let's see what the standard cost is. And you can see the standard cost is uh, over 1200 and let's just go back again and we'll filter it out. So we'll just say medium expensive. So that should be somewhere between 600 to 1200 as per the condition set by us. And you can see that. And now let's just go back again. And if let's say it is uh, not too expensive. So we'll just filter on that. And if you go to the standard cost, you can see the standard cost is below uh, 600. And I'm quite curious to see what it says or what the values are when it is not applicable. So just, just do that. And when we uh, do that, and then we scroll to the right, and you can see the standard cost is all null or blank. So uh, it's it's always good to have an additional uh, clause. So if, if the conditions are not met, what is the option? And that's what we've done. So I'll clear out the filter for now. And I can now go on the Power Query Editor Home tab and hit close and apply. And then the moment I hit close and apply, uh, that field will become available to me in the DIM product table. So I'll just hit apply changes. And now if I go to the DIM product table and we can see, so uh, let's see what's the uh, option, the columns available. And I can see there's the standard grouping and I can also use it in my um, visuals. So I can say probably give me, uh, so we'll just create a quick table here. And what we want is so we'll use the standard cost group and we want to see what are the items in each of these buckets. So we'll just use product key. So we'll just count the product key from dim product table. So I'll select that and you can see, so I want uh, a summarization. So I'll just say summarize this in this specific case, and then I can see how many items I have are expensive, how many are medium expensive, 
how many are blanks and how many fallen. So it's just one way of adding an additional column into your data model uh, based on a certain set of conditions that you have in mind. I hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video. Uh, please do subscribe to my channel and like my videos if you enjoy what I'm doing. Uh, let me know if you would like me to take any specific topics. Cheers. Bye.